This is ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Elliot Grigg, which means we are in preview mode. Again, previewing a fight on February. I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, March 8th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. This time it's the featherweight contest. We've looked at two heavyweight ones. But WBC World Featherweight title action as Ray Vargas puts his belt on the line against Liverpool's Nick Ball. Nick Ball's maiden world title shot here. Ray Vargas coming back down to featherweight after attempting to win a, a world title in a second weight division. So I'm just going to go in with uh, uh, and say straight away, Elliot, without um, going through the tail of the tape or anything, I just kind of want to know where you currently rank both Vargas and Ball at featherweight. And depending on who wins the fight, without giving your prediction away, because we'll come to it at the end, do you perhaps see him as the best 126-point fighter in the world or is it somebody else? Oh, Paul, thank you very much. I've said eloquent breakdown. I think um, this is tough. It's tough. It's a division we've kind of focused around previously, and there's a lot of names in this division. Um, you know, obviously, we've, we had, obviously, Lee Wood, didn't we, at one point, like Lopez, Figueroa, to name a few. Obviously, Espinosa's a champion, Vargas. Um, our man, obviously, Luis Alberto Lopez is a man we've obviously favoured many, many times. Um, and equally, you know, even the likes of sort of Fulton kicking around the rankings of Kolmatov. So a lot of different names. But I think, um, I think Nick Ball, for me, needs a victory like this to really put himself. He had a great win against Dogbo last time out. Uh, fantastic victory, to be honest, putting him on that level. Obviously, Dogbo had been in there with Navarretti as well. So um, a sort of real, sort of, a, I suppose, a touchstone point that he could mark himself against there. For me, he needs a victory like this to really elevate himself into that into that top sort of upper echelon. Ray Vargas, for me, is a guy who's obviously well up there. It's hard to know, obviously, because like you say, he's been campaigning above trying to get weight uh, championship belts in the, in the weights above. And then you've got likes of Figueroa, who's also involved in that WBC um, interim champion as well. So those guys uh, have their own kind of rivalry in there. So I, I, for me, Luis Alberto Lopez is the guy that I like to watch most in the division. Um, and for me, is the guy that I may be heart overhead that I'd like to put in at number one. Um, but I'm not going to get precious if someone wants to say, you know, possibly it is Ray Vargas. Um, Espinosa, again, I'm not necessarily convinced that he's number one either. Um, so yeah, for me, it's good to be Alberto Lopez, but it's nice to see these sort of fights as well taking place. And I thought Nick Ball needs this victory to elevate himself into the com uh, conversation against a name like that nature, which would be a fantastic fight where to happen. Yeah, I mean, I think that we're in an interesting point in time in the featherweight division. And um, we've got Luis Alberto Lopez, who we both love. You've still got Emmanuel Navarrete hanging about there. You've got um, Nick Ball obviously coming through here. Maybe if, if he wins, he's throwing his name right in the hat for unifications. Ray Vargas has obviously been the champion since February 2017. He's been the, the WBC champion um, after beating Gavin McDonald, believe it or not, for the, for the vacant title. Um, you've got Brandon Figueroa. You know I love him as well. Just yeah. He's waiting in the wings. Perhaps could fight the winner of this fight, given that he's the interim champion. Yeah, mate, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't put either of these, one of these at number one currently. And even if provided the you know even if someone won emphatically, I still wouldn't have them at number one because I still think they maybe need another couple of wins. But you've definitely got to have them. If you hold the belt, you're one of the best fighters in the division. So you know, put it to put it simply, so Ray Vargas is probably a top five in the division right now. Nick Ball worried to win this. He goes right up there into the top five along with the likes of Navarrete, Espinosa, Brandon Figueroa, even though he doesn't have a belt, and of course Luis Alberto Lopez. So yeah. I think I think that's 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 the way I see it, mate. Some of those names that we've mentioned there, though, um, I kind of want to ask before we come to predictions, mate. I want to ask how who's this is asking for a prediction. How do you think both Ray Vargas and Nick Ball would get on against those names we've mentioned? Just if you want to go through the the, the main four of Lopez, Navarrete, Espinosa, and Brando Figueroa. Oh, that's brutal. I think um, let me take him in order. So Lopez. It's tough because he's such an unconventional fighter. I feel like obviously him and Nick Ball will be able to firefight, it, frankly. Um, and it could go either way. I, I like you know Nick Ball getting in there throwing those massive sort of looping left hooks, and you know Alberto Lopez throws from you know by his hip from wherever he wants to sort of throw from. So for me, um, a fifty-fifty in some ways, frankly. Um, I'd have to lean towards Lopez just because obviously what he did to Conlon especially, um, and obviously Warrington as well. So he's got the pedigree. Um, Navarrete, I'm a big fan of Navarrete. You know, I think Navarrete would actually beat both of them frankly I think you know, depending on which weight he's campaigning at he would be the best in this division or if he's campaigning the one above then maybe I'll take him out of that and have Lopez so for me, I think he beats both of them Figueroa your man Figueroa is a tough one I think that's actually a really good fight I'd like to see that fight actually next potentially for, for the win of this obviously I know Vargas he's saying isn't he like, Vargas is the champion at the moment Figueroa is interim champion so that makes a logical step for that as well and Espinosa I actually think out of all those names Nick Ball's probably got the best chance of beating 
frankly. I think uh, if it were to come down to it, and same for Vargas, I think that's the one where you look at that and go, there's a unification opportunity there. Um, so, yeah, for me, it's kind of clear in my mind that, that Lopez Navarrete would be losses. Um, but equally, Figueroa, good close fight, good engaging fight, and Espinosa was a possible chance of victory. So the best chance against Espinosa. Do Paul, do you agree? Do you disagree? Talk to me. Um, you know what, mate? I think Espinosa, I think Vargas and Ball would both beat. Um, but that's not taking anything away from Espinosa's performance against Rubisi Ramirez. Massive underdog pulled off the upset there. Um, I like to see those fights. Brandon Figueroa, I still feel like it's an unknown quantity at featherweight. Mm. I really don't know. Um, how that would get on. If you imagine the height difference against Nick Ball, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I find it tough to call that one. Navarrete, when he's on it, is on it. When he's on it, he's the best. Um, but it's just, again, you don't know whether he's going to turn up. It's a bit like Teofimo Lopez. You don't know which version of yeah. Teofimo Lopez you're going to get. Yeah. Um, Luis Alberto Lopez, I favour to beat Ray Vargas. Whether this is a, maybe an unpopular opinion or not, I, mean, I think Nick Ball could beat Luis Alberto Lopez. Um, think that he'd be able to telegraph a shot but yeah well it's kind of leads us nicely into predictions and um i'll throw it back to you how do you feel this fight goes ray vargas and nick ball do you think ball can get another knockout do you think ray vargas is going to make a successful return back to 126 pounds talk to me you know what police this is a really tough one, isn't it? This is a, this is a losable fight for Nick Ball. Fair play to him for getting in and having a go at this. I think um, I don't think Nick Ball's going to knock it. Actually, I think Ray Vargas is going to have too much. I think his Ball's going to do it. He's going to have to do it on points. I think um, Vargas will be too experienced, frankly, to to lose a knockout to Nick Ball in that way to a guy in nineteen. No, don't get me wrong. Don't do nothing away from Nick Ball. I like Nick Ball, but I think Vargas, like you said, has been champion for a while. I think he'll get the final bell. Um, it's just a question of whether Nick Ball can stick enough on him pressure him enough I think to get the decision I actually can to be honest with you I can see potentially Vargas winning this on points um, if I had to lean either way but I'd love to see Nick Ball win you know friend of friend of Paul Kelly friend of the show but I've I just got a feeling that, that Vargas may do it on points in what will be a credible performance from Nick Ball and show some growth in many ways but again still 19-0 you know not necessarily a massive season campaign compared to the fights that Vargas has had himself so you know fighting the likes of Ashaki Foster as well so yeah I, I'm going to go Vargas points do you agree Paul do you disagree talk to me as much as you know, I respect you and 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 your opinions and stuff on boxing. I really hope you're wrong. You're fully on Nick the Wrecking Ball. I train. <laughs> um, and all seriousness, mate, his engine is ridiculous. Right, mm. I, he can put up a frenetic pace for twelve rounds, thirty six minutes for no no problem. I don't mm. know whether Ray Vargas will be able to deal with that. I think he's been very inactive. Um, you know, yeah, he had that fight up at, at Super Feather. But like Oshaki Foster, is Oshaki Foster really a household name or a bit one of the best fighters in the division up there? Remains to be seen. I think that I, I think Nick Ball has beaten Ray Vargas here. I actually made it sound, sounds ridiculous considering he hasn't fought anyone at this level, but I actually make him the favorite as well. I'd be surprised if Nick Ball doesn't win this fight. Method of victory, probably leaning toward points at this stage, but equally, mate, if he lands a flush on the chin of Ray Vargas. He's winning this via knockout and taking that green and gold belt, baby. You know how it's going. Go on, Elliot. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, thanks very much for joining me as always, mate. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think about this fight. Where do you rank them both at featherweight? Do you think the winner is up there as number one? How do you how do they get on against Lopez, Navarrete, Figueroa, Espinosa, and um, Rabisi Ramirez? How do they, how do all those fights play out? Would you love to see a super six at featherweight? So many good fighters in the division, but yeah. Appreciate, appreciate your time as always. Uh, yeah, guys, let us know in the comments your thoughts and thanks very much for watching.